All right, you guys, today we're going to check out how to make some wrinkle text in Adobe Dimension and customize the colors and contrast in Photoshop. First, we're going to jump into Adobe Dimension, click on the background somewhere here and go to the background color. I'm going to change it to black. Now let's select the camera and we're going to type in here to the rotation minus 90. The Y is going to be zero and the Z is going to be zero as well. So this way is going to view it from the top. Now I'm going to scroll down here into the models and here you can see a beach towel 3D render. So I'm going to drag and drop right here, scroll out and I'm going to need to rotate this. Let's go to the Y. I'm going to type in 90 or you can try it out minus 90. This one is better. Let's go to the color. I'm going to change it to black. Click on the base color and I'm going to go with black. Let's go back here with the arrow and we're going to replace it with another graphic and I'm going to select it, click on open and this is how you place the graphic on the model. You also can scale it down from here or you can just drag these little squares and press and hold shift so it won't be distorted and replace it wherever you like or you can go up here, zoom out and you can rotate it with this button and it starts to come together. I'm going to activate the ray tracing and it's going to render it in a realistic style. Now, as you can see on the text, we don't have a lot of shading going on like here in the wrinkles. So what I'm going to do is collapse here the models, the materials, and here we got the direct lights or environmental lights. Last time I went with the studio warm key light. Now here we can customize the light. Usually these lights are burnt but I'm going to decrease the intensity here quite a bit. And you also can rotate the light. I'm going to go with 166. I think this is pretty good. Now I'm going to render it. Let's go to render, rename it. You can change it in PSD or PNG. And here you can switch the location. I'm going to go with PNG, click on render. And I'm just going to do some tweakings. I'm going to go to adjustments. I'm going to go with brightness contrast. You can increase the contrast if you will. You also can test out the brightness. Let's go back to adjustments. I'm going to go with color balance and make it cold a little bit. And I also want to get more out of these orange nuances. So I'm going to go back to the adjustments. Let's go to selective color and I'm going to change it to yellow. And you can play around with these handles and it's going to customize that orange spot. This is pretty good. I'm going to go back to the adjustments. You also can add black and white and decrease the opacity. I'm going to go down to 20 ish and I'm going to group it. This is how it looked before. This is how it looks after. And this is how I make this a wrinkled text effect in Adobe Dimension and Photoshop. Thanks for watching.